Hey there. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about this website here called Coin Farm. Now, this website would be, I would say, more so for traders or people who are uh, somewhat interested in actively trading. But that, that, that doesn't mean that just because you don't trade that you can't get value out of this website as well. So when you go to this website, Coin Farm, you'll be uh, presented with a page that looks like this. Now, what's important are these indicators here, right? So here is uh, an indicator on whether uh, you should sell or if it's neutral or if it's buy, right? So you've got four of them. This one's for BitMEX, this one's for Binance, this one's for Bitfinex, and this one's for Bybit. And basically, it just tells you what people's positions are on these particular exchanges. For example, on the, on, on the five minute time frame, on BitMEX, everyone is, or there's a strong buy. So that means there's a lot of uh, people who are going long versus short. And, uh, but if you look at Bybit, people are going uh, short as opposed to going long, right? So I think that this is a good website that you can use to help, uh, I guess, m maybe see what other people are doing, right? So this uh, is on the five minutes. Now, if you go to one day, maybe it'll give you some insight. Okay, so like people are generally neutral right now on longer time frames. If you go to, let's just say the two hour time frame, er again, everyone is more so neutral, right? So that's pretty much this here. Now, if you go to exchange analysis, right? Let's just say you go to Binance, right? If you click here, it'll tell you the number of people who are uh, the percent going long and those who are going short. So this means that more people have borrowed uh, Bitcoin in order to sell. So they've borrowed 767 Bitcoin from Binance and sold it on the open market. And this means that they uh, will have to eventually pay it back. But this is how much has been borrowed from Binance in order to sell. So right now, if you look at the comparison right now, it's 48 percent people going long and uh, I guess 51 percent of the people are going short and this is just for Binance they also have it for you know Bitfinex as well if you're if you trade there right same thing and let's just say if you trade on uh, here we go if you trade on Bitmex it's over here it's not in the exchange it's uh, it's over here because uh, it's a little bit different. XBT is a derivative of, uh, of Bitcoin. It's not actually Bitcoin itself. Well, it's, it's a little bit complicated, but more or less here is uh, what people's positions are, so on and so forth. This can be uh, used to help you trade, right? So when I used to trade on BitMEX, I would frequently come here just to kind of see what people are doing and you know just take a look at what sort of position sizes they have and so on and so forth but now that I go back to Binance because I actually uh, like trading the actual coins themselves and then uh, derivatives so I'll sometimes come here and, and just kind of see what people are doing you know so you got 60 minutes and you can kind of see like what uh, people are thinking at certain times you know right now because the market has just been so stagnant, you know, it's almost at a 50-50. I would say more people are obviously uh, thinking of selling, uh, going short, than uh, buying into it. But yeah, this is uh, this is just a website that I wanted to talk about that might be helpful to you in terms of looking at what other people are doing. And hopefully it'll give you some insight on how you can uh, either trade better or how it can give you some insight on how to decide on what you should do. But yeah, anyways, I hope you uh, found this video informative. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up or uh, like the video. If you have used this website before, or if you know of another website, you know, drop a comment down below and I'd love to check it out. And, um, and yeah, other than that, if you are interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.